on our net. Now, one of the nice things about this is you can actually look at just about anything that you want. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to symbol list and go load. So we'll have a number of different symbol lists built in here for you. Right now I'm looking at the NASDAQ 100. Let's say I wanted to look at the S&P 100. Okay, so you can see here that it actually brought that right up and brings it streaming. Now you can actually look at up to 500 symbols in here, which is actually really nice because a lot of times a lot of our uh, competitors will only offer you 50 to 100 symbols at a time. And we offer you the ability to do 500 at a time at no additional cost. Now, when you are working with the market, sometimes what people want to see is they want to actually know kind of what's the top things that are happening on the market? What, what am I missing out there? Obviously, there's, you know, you can go out and do different research and things and find things, but I want to know what's happening right now. What are, what are the main things that are happening? So if I right click and go to load chain here and click real time ranking lists, it'll give me all these different ranking lists in real time. So if I click on dollar gainers, okay, boom, there's my dollar gainers. Here's my top dollar gainers going on right now. So you can actually see there's a lot more activity on here. We have gaps, we have volume, uh, we have news, we have all kinds of different things happening on these stocks. Okay, so and I can rank on either of these. Our top uh, dollar gainer for the day is Berkshire Hathaway with $1,000 $1, up, 1,000 points up. Uh, obviously, that's not one that we all jump on, but there's, you can see in here what's going on. Now, I, maybe I want to know what's happening with that stock. What's driving it? So let's look. We can click and look at the news, and I can see all the different news stories. Okay, so let's say I want to see this news story. What's, what's the full story? Well, this one's not a story. It's more, it's uh, telling me that there's been a big share gain. What's going up? So you can actually come in here and click on it, any of these and see what's going on, which is very nice again, because you're not getting just the headline, you're actually getting the full story. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. And I can come over here and I can look at fundamental information. Okay, so there's a lot to this product. We can go in, we can pull up sector and industry groups, we can pull up a lot of different things and see what's happening real time with them. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this, we actually do offer training classes that you can go through on our website. This is more kind of an introduction for you. So let's jump over to our next product. And this one's actually called Athena. Athena is actually our charting package that comes within Quote Center. Let's go ahead and just type in a stock up here. Let's uh, put in Microsoft. Now Microsoft, so I've got my Microsoft chart up here. What's nice about this product is you can actually quickly move around within it. Let's uh, right click. Let's say right now I'm looking at a daily chart. Let's say I want to look at four different time frames. I just click on this one by four chart mode and it'll quickly bring me up daily, weekly, five minute, 15 minute. So I can see all the these different time frames very quickly. If I want to turn that off, just uncheck it and I'm set. If you just want to change your one time frame, you can come back here and click on any time frame you want. Now what's great about Quote Center is it actually offers some of the best historical data out there. You can actually get uh, 30 days of tick data, one year of one minute data, and up to 30 years of daily data. So you can actually get a lot of information out of here. Okay, so let's say we want to put some indicators on our chart. All I have to do is right click, come down here, and let's say I just want to throw on a moving average. Okay, or I want to throw on Bollinger Bands, moving my favorite Bollinger Bands. Whatever you'd like to do, you can just go in, throw it in there, some high-low bands. And there's a lot that you can just kind of go in here and play with and just add on. Okay, obviously most people are just going to add on their favorite, favorite indicators and just go through there. But I can also draw trend lines. Okay, let's come down here and let's do draw trend line. It'll show me that I'm working with a trend line. So if I just draw from there to there, it'll add that trend line onto my chart. Okay. So the basics of Athena are, are right there. It's a very easy product to use, quick to draw, quick to change your time frames, and move around with. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump over to our next product. Now our next product is actually called Analytics. 
Analytics is a program that's designed to, one, give us our 23 years of fundamental data. It'll help us understand the technicals behind a stock. This one will give us market summaries, so we can look at real-time ranking lists of best S&P groups. We can look at what the world is doing. Okay, so let's actually start off here at this market summaries. Okay, I'm just going to click on this market summaries, and you can see here we have world indices, country indices, best and worst S&P groups for the day. Let's actually just start with world indices. Let's take a look. So come in here, and you can see it'll just give us a snapshot of what's happening around the world. So you have a quick view of here's what's happening in the U.S., here's what's happening in, in the East, here's what's happening in Europe. So these are quick views of what's going on. Okay, let's take a step back here. Okay, so I can go into country market summaries if I want to see what's happening. NASDAQ market summary. So I can click here and what this gives me is you can see we have our, our changes for the day. Have a quick snapshot of some currency pairs. Okay, then I can see the top NASDAQ gainers and losers. Okay, so here's what's going on. Coin is up 47% today. MFBC is up 32%. ISIS up 29%. So you can come in here and get this quick look jump over to either your charting or your or market watch and plug it in. Let's go over and just plug in coin really quick over here on our charting. Okay, so there's coin. You can see the changes for the day. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep moving on here. Okay, so here we again we have our market summary for NASDAQ. We can also do the NYSE. This is my favorite one right here, best and worst S&P groups for the day. So I can just double click on that and I can see that gold is the top S&P group for the day at uh, being up 4.81%. Well, what I can do now, I can jump back to my market watch here, go to this load chain and go to central systems indices and I go, hey, I want to see gold. What's in, what's in that gold S&P group? So there's my S&P 500 gold group, just hit OK. And there's my stock that's making that difference. Okay, so that's just a quick way to do that. Okay, so this is a great resource. I really like this resource. Just quickly, real time, what's my change? What's happening? Okay, let's take a couple steps back here. Now these other ones, they're a bit more command driven, but they're very easy to use. So let's say I want to know kind of what the technical basis is behind coin, since we're just looking at coin. So I just type in coin forward slash T, just like it says up here. And I just hit enter. And you'll see here that I've got some great information. I've got beta, so my real, it's relative how, how volatile it is to its industry group. Okay, I can see how it's trading through the day, if it's an optionable stock, how many shares are outstanding earnings per share, all this information is just available right there for me. So if I take a step back again, I can do the same th kind of thing with fundamental information. So let's, uh, let's try Microsoft here. Let's look at fundamental. And what it'll do is it'll give me the snapshot here of the last few years. And I can keep going back in years as far as I want, again, 23 years. And then it also gives me this other command up here for special dividends. So it'll also give me special dividend information. So a lot of this information is just click through, go through, and get it very quickly and make it accessible for you.